Hi, this is Alan from MindVisionMedia.net and this tutorial will be about page templates. Um, I'm using the responsive theme from Theme ID and uh, it's a responsive theme meaning that it is viewable on smartphones, tablets, computers, desktops, laptops, etc. Uh, the, the theme itself adjusts to the size of the screen. So anyway, uh, like I said, we're going to discuss page templates. So let's get started with that. Here we have a basic sample page, test page, and it's in the default theme layout, which has a sidebar on the right and the content on the left, like about a half a page or so. Um, so basically, we're now inside the dashboard and inside the editor for the test page. We've got that page pulled up here and over to the right is where you can select what page template you want. So basically you can have a different page template for every page of your website if you want. You don't have to have every page with the same style and the sidebars in the same place and your widgets aligned the same way, etc you can change that by going here to template and we're currently on the default template let's change it to a blog post template see what that looks like we'll update and my connection is running a little slow today bear with me but this gives you a lot of different choices uh, we'll click on preview and go to that page and now this is the default and now that is a blog style layout of the same page okay so what that is doing is showing you my blog post that I have set up in my site okay if you don't have any blog posts set up it'll show whatever content you have for example this content right here but the reason why it's not showing this content is because I have my blog post template page set up to show all of my recent blog posts so that's what it was showing us basically and you have a choice blog excerpt summary which is pretty much the same thing like we saw let's try content with the sidebar. We'll update that. And we'll do a preview. Now this was the blog style. And now that's the content with the sidebar view. Okay. So it just gives you a default sidebar instead of the custom one that I have built. It gives you a default sidebar. You can put whatever you want in here. Choose the category you want in there. Um, and your content is on the left. Just like almost similar to the default template. Alright. Let's check out content sidebar half page. Okay. So again, you can do this to each page and each post if you'd like. You can have a different page layout for each one. You're not confined to the way the page is set up by default. So that's content with the sidebar and now that's a half page sidebar with the content squeezed more to the left some instances you may want that okay but if you notice I'm just changing the template for the page that I'm working on right over here in this options palette under template now let's try full page with no sidebar we'll update that which is pretty cool actually because you can customize your site do a preview 
and we'll go from half page sidebar to full page no sidebar okay similar to the blog style using the full page width to get the content in there um, but it gives you a full range of options right over here and let's try a landing page no menu so you can experiment around in this area right here and choose what page template you want for the particular page or post that you're working on okay not much difference on the actual layout for that one but still some minor changes and it may apply there's no menu <clears throat> for that particular one that's about the only difference now uh, let's try sidebar content so now instead of the sidebar being on the right side the sidebar will be on the left and then the content will be on the right which is the opposite of what we've been seeing Now the sidebar is on the left. There's a lot of instances where you may want this. The eyes naturally attract to the left. People read from left to right, so it is a good practice to have. In some cases, you may want your sidebars on the right. On my particular site, on this particular site, I have most of my sidebars on the right. But it gives you personal preference and uh, full customization on your page layout. So the benefit of using the page template option over here, again, is to customize your site. Let's try sidebar content half page. Go ahead and update that. And we'll do a preview. So now it's sidebar half page and content squeezed to the right. Totally flexible. Gives you a lot of different options. And site map is basically a site menu um, for your your entire website. I'll basically do a tutorial on that separately. But I just wanted to show folks this template option over here gives you total flexibility on what style or setup layout your page uses you're not confined to the default page layout so you can use this option right over here to select the page template you want for that particular page or post that you're working on okay so I had a few questions on that I wanted to uh, do a quick tutorial on that and again it's dealing with the type of layout you have on your page and the page template that you're using. This is a sidebar slash content layout right here with a sidebar half page. I'll go ahead and change that back to the default template. I'll do an update on that. And a quick preview. change back to the default style okay so there you have it folks page templates in WordPress responsive alrighty if you have any questions contact me at mindvisionmedia.net this is Alan thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you soon bye